named after a legendary admiral during World War II. Aliberg is the most modern destroyer class of the U.S. Navy. With a total of 67 ships inactive and about 20 more ships planned to be built, this warship class is considered the backbone of the U.S. Navy fleet. USS Aliberg with the hull number TDG-51 is the lead ship of this destroyer class. This is the first American warship built on the basis of the Aegis combat system. It is one of the most sophisticated and modern combat systems in the world, making Aliber class destroyers an important part of the US ballistic missile defense system. Along with the massive arsenal she brought, Aliber is considered the pride of the US Navy. The Aliber class is also the foundation for the US allies such as Japan and South Korea to develop their main surface warships. The combination of these destroyers creates a magic shield that protects the United States and its allies from the threat of basic missiles. In the 1980s, the US Navy wanted to create a warship class that combines the most advanced technology capable of stealthing against enemy radar and sensors. These warships must be capable of defending against Soviet aircraft, cruise missiles, and attack submarines. In addition, it has the other task of escorting the carrier combat group over far oceans. Until the Jumwa class tier destroyer was born, the Aliber class was among the largest destroyers ever built by the United States. U.S. Aliber was laid out at Bath. Men on December 6, 1988 and launched on September 16, 1989. She was designed to be a multi-purpose warship, allowing her to perform acquiring of missions from maintaining peace and providing humanitarian assistance, disaster relief, and maritime control. As the first member of the Aliber class destroyer family, DDG-51 follows a new design philosophy that incorporates many lessons learned by the Royal Navy during the Falklands campaign and from Ticonderoga class guided missile cruisers. The entire vessel is constructed from steel with vital areas protected by two layers of steel and 70 tons of Kepler armor. She sports a well-controlled hull with the bow raised slightly ahead. The major internal sections are concentrated around amidships and include the bridge, communications facilities, and turbine smokestacks. The size of the vessel superstructure area are fused into the hull size to prompt inherent steel characteristics against scanning surface radar, a common design element in modern surface ships. The stern area of the vessel can accept or lodge helicopters as needed where an onboard hangar supports their operation. The main mast atop the major superstructure is home to a plethora of antenna, communications and sensor systems pertinent to her operating facilities. A deck gun is fitted ahead of the bridge superstructure along the forecastle. The vessel also be fitted out with anti-NBC warfare protection. The destroyer has an overall length of 155.3 meters, beam of 20 meters, and draft of 9.4 meters. The vessel can accommodate up to 380 crew members. U.S. Aliber has 9,200 tons standard displacement. Its propulsion system is made up of four General Electric LM2500 gas turbines, delivering up to 100,000 shaft horsepower, driving two shafts arrangement. Two gas turbines coupled to a single shaft with a gearbox allows one or both engines 
to operate at any time. A proven fuel efficient measure. This offers the vessel a speed of over 30 knots and a range out to 5,500 nautical miles. The soul of the USS Alleberg, as well as her sisters, is the Aegis Combat System, which integrates the ship's sensors and weapon systems to engage anti ship missile threats. The Aegis System has a federated architecture with four subsystems, namely an ANSPY-1 multifunction radar, a command and decision system, an Aegis display system, and a weapon control system. The SPY-1 is one of the world's most advanced and versatile maritime radar. The USS Alibert is armed with a bare V of surface-to-surface and surface-to-air guided missiles. The missiles can engage airborne threats as well as naval vessels as needed. The missiles are stored and lodged in vertically set cells, one 64 cell collection and another 32 cell arrangement, a total of 96 missiles in all of various types. This includes the venerable BMG-109 Tomahawk cruise missile to be used against land-based targets. The RIM-66 SM-2 medium-range surface to air missile against aerial threats and the RAM-139 VL Astrock anti-submarine missile. Closing threats are dealt with the 130mm Mark 38 deck gun. There are 4 of 12.7mm machine guns defend the crew from even closer threats, requiring automatic fire. There are also two Mark 46 series cheaper torpedo tubes. One 20mm phalanx closing weapon system, providing a rate of fire of 4,500 revolutions per minute. Only the first 28 Alibur class ships were equipped with Harpoon anti-ship missiles. The rest had completely removed this weapon. U.S. Aliberg and her sisters gradually shifted to ballistic missile defense roles with the arrival of SM-3 Block 1B missiles. The ship's electronic counter-missile system is the Raytheon ANSLQ-32, which performs radar warning and shamming. Decoys include two Lockheed Martin Sipicon SRBOC six barrel launchers for chaff and infrared flares, and the ANSLQ 25A Nixie torpedo decoy system. USS Alibur is capable of operating two SH 60 Seahawk helicopters at the same time. Seahawks are multi mission helicopters utilized by the United States Navy and based on the U.S. Army UH-60 Black Hawk model, both originally of the Sikorsky S-70 model family. With the model of Fast and Feared, Alleberg has participated in many U.S. campaigns. She was deployed to the Mediterranean Sea and the Adriatic Sea in 1993, 1995, and 1998. She has also participated in many U.S. military exercises and its allies. In 2003, Alleberg and the other units of the U.S. Theodore Roosevelt-led carrier battle group participated in Operation Enduring Freedom and Operation Iraqi Freedom. During this wartime cruise, Alleberg fired Tomahawk missile strikes against targets in Iraq. She also undertook counter-piracy missions in the Gulf of Aden. Most recent, on September 2014, Aliberg took part in the 2014 military intervention against ISIS, firing Tomahawk missiles on targets in Syria while the ship was in the Red Sea. My video of U.S. Alibur Destroyer and Sear. Thank you for watching. You find this video interesting? Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel.
goodbye and see you again in the next videos